What's up guys, Sinistalker here, right here for another video. Let's go right up here. It is Tuesday, as I'm filming it right now, it is Tuesday, which means movies come out today at stores and online, with the DVDs, the Blu-rays, the 4Ks, and all that goodness come out today. So I got a nice little stack of some movies I'd like to review for you guys at the end of this video. What else comes to mind on a Tuesday? It is Taco Tuesday. Yeah, especially here in San Diego. You know, we're close to Mexico, we're big into me Mexican food and all kinds of taco goodness. So I'm a little bit hungry. It's about lunchtime right now. So let's go to a spot right here in my area where I live at, real close by to where I'm at. A delicious, awesome Mexican food spot. I know I showed you guys on video before, so let's go there right now. And what's cool about being Taco Tuesday at the spot I'm gonna go to, all the tacos, any type you want, any kind of meat you want, they're only $1.50 on Tuesday, so that's a great deal. $1. fifty per taco, they make them fat and they're big for the guacamole, all the fixings on there, so homemade tortillas too. So let's go there right now. I'm getting hungry talking about it, so let's go there. Then after that, we'll come back here and, and review some films, whatever else we get into. Let's go do it. The spot I'm talking about is this. We're going to Tacos El Trampo. Awesome, awesome, uh, delicious tacos. One of the best in town. It's like different locations here. There's like a four in town. One close by to where I live at, so it's great. And all kinds of specials going on here too. Amazing breakfast burritos as well. This is about me and Pierre always go to when he comes by. So let's go here and get some Taco Tuesday goodness. It's in the back booth corner. We actually, we always sit over here, me and Pierre, when we come here, sit in this area. We're here for the food now. Got all the food. I got four tacos and a uh, Coke Bullet, the Mexican Coke, the real Coke, the good Coke, the Coke you want, and a bottle. We got sugar, all for like 10 bucks. So we're waiting for the food right now. And that's uh, cool about this spot. They have all kinds of neat uh, artwork up here. I dig the. Uh, different art pieces up here very colorful very a good spacious spot nice and chill here so yeah definitely i can't wait to devour these tacos got the goods now and here we go i got some of the uh, al pastor to adobato give me a carne asada and get me a birria taco and up there good old birria baby check that out all these glorious tacos all full of goodness up there mexican coke which is the best kind of coke you can get we had a real sugar go figure That's where it's at now. Let's get a taco. Let's put one. I'm gonna do the autobata first. A little lime in that bad boy up there. Put a little bit of that lime goodness. I'm gonna try it first without the uh, hot sauce because it's just get that flavor. And then if I put some hot sauce on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I'm talking about to get the hook it up here. Only a buck fifty on Taco Tuesday, dude. Cannot go wrong. Cheers, y'all. Oh man. Mmm. That's so good. That's what I'm talking about. Some hot sauce, not bad, boys. This is some pretty good hot sauce, too. It's a nice, nice uh, kick to it. Mm. Next up, let's go do some uh, birria action. Oh, yeah. Awesome, glorious uh, birria meat. Check that out. The onions up in there, some cilantro. Oh, yeah, nice and juicy. Mmm. Look at that juice. Mm, so good. I'm gonna finish these up. We got about two more left. Um, we'll, we'll down so some cocoa real quick. Mm. So good. And uh, yeah, after this, uh, dude, back to the pad. Do it up like that. All right, just left uh, Tacos El Trampo and uh, definitely a good spot. So if you're in town, uh, close to here at Imperial Beach, check it out. It's so, so good. And it's starting to fill up right now. So, so after I left, there was a nice line of people going in there now. So yeah, everyone knows a good deal. All right, back at the pad now. Like I said, that place, man, Tacos El Trampo, so fire, 10 out of 10. So good. Everything, everything they make there is so good. I kid you not, everything there is so, so good. But now, since I'm back here, I got a nice little stack of some movies maybe like throw on a table right now. I think five titles, I'll be five titles and talk about. So it's good to do it right now and do it up. On to the movies right now. Got a nice stack of some awesome goodness. Nice little variety of some good stuff up here. I'm gonna start with this really cool one here from Grindhouse Releasing and also MVD Entertainment. They teamed up. This is the very first release MVD Entertainment has put out through Grindhouse Releasing. And it's this awesome, neat 70s horror movie starring William Shatner in Impulse up here. And this comes out uh, next Tuesday, March 12th, I believe. So if you want to get this bad boy, you can pre-order it now. And if you want to get it when it comes out on the 12th, you can do that also too. But it's a really interesting, grimy, grindhousey flick, which is great with the name of Grindhouse Release. And it's put out a lot of cool things. This one's one of them. 
I never heard of this movie until I get this uh, to check out for review. So thanks so much, MVD and Grindhouse, for me check this out to review. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago, and it's a great, grimy one. I said, star William Shatner. You get Shatner, he's, you know, he's known for Star Trek and things like that. The early 70s, movie like 1974, this was made. He plays this unhinged, crazy guy with a troubled youth background. At the beginning of the movie, he starts off, you see his mom getting it on with uh, some messed up guy. And he, his Shatner, is a, as a kid, he's there, and he catches him in the act, and... The mom's getting her uh, forced upon by this sleaze bag guy. And the sleaze bag guy wants Shatner to watch what's going on. And it's just all messed up. And it's all filmed like in black and white, this part of the opening of the movie. And then, uh, and then Shatner uh, stabs him with a sword. And therefore, uh, that that right there uh, troubles his mind. So therefore, later on, I fast forward to him as an adult. You see Shatner, and he's like a gigolo guy, 70s looking clothes. He gets he talks to women, sweets talks women. And he gets crazy, and he just he takes her money and he and whatever they have value, and he and he kills him. He gets this crazy and gets starts start doing these crazy things. He likes him. He gets all these, gets all these odd things happen, and he kills him. And it's just odd. And then it's like him throughout the movie. Um, he he meets like this other woman, attractive woman at a store, and she has a daughter, and her daughter's really unsure about him and things that like, suspects things of him. But the daughter's like that with everybody, so no one really, so no one really ex, uh, suspects the daughter of saying stuff toward him because she's like that with all the guys that her mom tries to go out with. And so it's Shatner, he kind of like likes this woman, but then things happen again in his mind, and he wants to like have a plan of attack to do like take stuff from her and flee town or whatever. He's like, he's like this almost like a double personality, split personality disorder kind of thing. And he's also in the run from this other guy that wants to use him for money too. So he's on the run from that also throughout this movie. But very cool one is this one. I feel like grindhouse -y movies, uh, strange, obscure movies, you'll love Impulse. Here is the back of it, loaded up all kinds of special features. I definitely checked out a handful of these things and they're great. This is directed by William Greffy. Let me show you the inside of it uh, right up here. Very cool. Um, I think the original poster art of this bad boy. It's a Grindhouse release. They always do an amazing job with their releases. And here it is up here. You got two Blu-rays. There it is right up there. And inside, you got a nice little booklet. This is a really cool postcard of uh, William Shatner with a cigar. And it's funny, in the movie, he's like he's like sucking on his, on his pinky. I believe. He's like doing some weird stuff. He's like, he bites it. And when he gets like uh, nervous and stuff, like he kind of starts biting it, but it's, it's just weird. But it's a d definitely a strange one. I said, a very cool, grimy, and it's something you'll never see William Shatner done before is this kind of uh, portrayal as a gigolo, psychopathic killer and impulse. Uh, love how this embossed box looks up here. The lettering, the artwork, it's just amazing. Good stuff. Great one here to get. I highly recommend it. If you like strange, horror movies, obscure stuff. If you're a fan of William Shatner and Star Trek stuff, you'll definitely enjoy this. So if you like some fine grindhouse cheese, you'll enjoy this one. And this is just a, all, this is a fun one. Definitely a great hidden gem is Impulse. Available now. Uh, actually available next week. So if you want to get the pre-orders in now, you can. But available next week, I meant to say. So if you want to get this bad boy, link down below for this right up here. Definitely a cool one to check out is this great popcorn movie to watch late, late at night is this one. Super good stuff. It is. It's good. it's good stuff. And next up here, I have a couple of titles from Radiance Films. Great, great, cool company. The MBD is working with awesome stuff. This one's a really neat one. Very stylish, very like Kill Bill-esque, Quentin Tarantino-esque. He definitely got ideas from watching this, I believe he had to. And that is Black Tight Killers. Awesome Japanese movie filmed in 1966. And it's just a really, like, a, the, I mean, the beginning of the movie is great. It has a very stylish, the music aesthetic appeal to it is fantastic. Uh, has these group of these women, and they're they're ki kidnappers, just like assassins, pretty much, and on, and on hand, and they use like weird weapons. They use even they even use records, vinyl records, to kill people and maim people with. And the guy right here sees them kidnap a woman that he likes, and it's up to him to find out to to get her out of the cusp of the black tight killer. It's no easy task over there, and uh, it's fantastic. It's just great stuff. There's this, uh, they have this, this crazy cool dance number at the beginning of the movie, and the music is great. It's just awesome. It just has like this great appeal. It's shot really well. It's a very like you feel like Kill Bill and things like that kind of uh, style. It's like the original like Kill Bill kind of style for some of that type scenery 
and and stuff with that. Some of the scenes in that movie, definitely they 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 he definitely uh, Tarantino borrowed it from from this right here. Um, it's great stuff. You like that kind of thing? It's fun. It's like a it's sort of like a spy assassin action flick with some '60s sex appeal to it in a way. It's just it's just great. It's just I just this one's awesome. Um, good good stuff. Definitely something I was not expecting. I had no idea what this was even about until I got the this to review. Very cool alternate artwork up there. And it says it's really nice transfer of the film. What I noticed with Radiance Films do a fantastic job with their transfers. Here's some of the assassins, one of them right there. The cool 60s do right there. Great, great stuff. It's just it says it's just, it's amazing. They're, they're like these masked assassins. It's just it's so good. If you like stuff like that, you'll definitely uh, love this right here. I said I, I had no idea what to, what to expect in this, and it was a treat for the eyes and the ears too. So it's a great soundtrack in this thing, and I definitely thoroughly enjoy it. So if you if you like uh, like Tarantino type movies, if you like stuff like Kill Bill, that kind of vibe, you'll definitely love the original type of Kill Bill style. And that is Black Tight Killers. This one's great. Check it out. Got some great special features, Bad Boy commentary and things like that up in here. And it's just a fun one here to check out. Uh, that is Black Tide Killers. Very, very cool stuff. Also next here from Radiance Films, this one comes out toward the end of the month, March 26th. If you're looking for to get this set, oh, pre-order it now. And this one's awesome. A three movie collection up here uh, called the Bounty Hunter Trilogy. I was unaware of this and I got this to review and it's very cool. So I just got this a few days ago or so, but I've been binging these over the weekend and they're very, very cool. Pitch the of these movies is the main actor right up here uh, he's like a samurai slash doctor, hired hand assassin. And he's, he's, pretty much the movies takes place that people hire him, like villagers and things like that. And he does these jobs like, you know, a hitman, bounty hunter for hire type thing to different samurais. He goes there, he kills them, and uh, takes people that have been kidnapped, all kinds of stuff. He's got all these different things going on in these movies up his movie trilogy. And it's like, it's weird because it's like, it's like a samurai martial arts flick mixed in with like a spaghetti western vibe to it too, in a way, so it's very neat. These are made in the uh, late 60s, early 70s, 69 to 72 these were made, and they look fantastic, they sound great, beautifully shot, a lot of crazy gore in this thing for, for the time period. You have like samurai swords cutting people, going through necks, chopping people's like heads off, stabbings, there's like guns near too, crack shootings, crazy stuff going on. So if you like your martial arts action samurai ninja goodness, you got this too. And it says it has a, like a, like a, an aesthetic of a spaghetti western mixed in there, fused up in a way when you watch it. So it's very, very cool. Definitely different and very awesome. Definitely like these. Let me open this up up here. And it's a, just a nice, beautiful, uh, hardbound uh, little uh, sleeve it's in right here. Really good quality. You can hear that. Good quality. And these are loaded with all kinds of extras in there too. So we got commentary tracks behind the scenes, things like that. You have some awesome uh, lobby cards up here. Very the, the films. So he's got two movies on this set, and you have one the, the, the other first first movie you get it by itself up over there. I'll, I'll show up in that one up too in a bit. But here's some of the lobby cards up over here. The different like artworks, poster art, what they had back in the day. Very cool stuff. And then the, this first movie, boop, right up here. Killer's Mission, just a great one. So I had no idea to expect from this set as well when I was watching this. And I never heard of this before. And it was just, I was just binged them all like within like a day and a half, just binged them all. Very good stuff. Like once you watch it, you kind of want to not stop watching. It just kind of gets you guys kind of just get into it. Very, very cool. Great scenery. It's a shot well made, made in like 69 through 72, I believe these are made. And they look amazing. Like I said, for the stuff they were doing at the time, Pretty gory, like I mean, it's it's pretty good, rough graphic violence stuff. So, really cool. So if you like that kind of thing, you'll definitely enjoy this. Great setup here, and that is the Bounty Hunter trilogy available March twenty sixth. Link down below to get this set as well. Very cool stuff. If you said if you're a fan of these movies, you if you know about these, you watched them before. These look great here on Blu ray. And if you're if you're a fan of martial arts flicks and like samurai type movies and maybe even spaghetti westerns. You'll get your kick out of this one too. It's very cool, cool stuff. Good sequences, beautifully made music, the whole thing, the story. Great, great stuff. That is the Bounty Hunter trilogy. And a last here from Radiance Films. This one, a nice little drama period piece. I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna butcher the name. It's a tough one for me. Alon San Fan. Alon San Fan. I know I'm messing it up. Italian movie made in like 1969, I believe. Oh, sorry, 74, 1974. And like a period piece type movie, 
and I started this revolutionary right up here. Um, he's like a cowardice kind of guy. He's in turmoil with Southern Elite trying to uh, in war conflict. He's kind of a coward. He doesn't want to get involved in that. So he kind of lies in his, uh, to get out of certain conflicts and things like that and the hierarchy of what's going on with this revolutionary type of war in a sense of stuff going on in Italy. And it's him, him battling his own inner turmoils amongst trying to govern a crazy sovereign state of affairs going on during this period piece up here. Really well made. Something I would not really probably see, be, uh, probably, you know, but really cool and definitely thankful to check this one out. Very neat. I feel like a nice uh, period piece, Italian cinema, things like that, made in like early 60s, 70s Italian cinema. You'll definitely enjoy this film up here. Shot well, beautifully done, great music. The scenes, very, uh, just very scenic, very, just a great arty look to it. Very, very awesome, great music. And that kind of thing. So he likes a nice Italian cinema. You'll definitely enjoy this one. I'm going to butcher the name again, probably. Alon San Fon. I butchered it. I'm sorry. But great title. This is out available now. Last but not least here from NVD Visual Line, we got Punto Rojo. Uh, pretty neat. All right. Action-y flick up here. It was, it was okay. Watch. Uh, about this guy named Diego. He's like a soccer player guy. He's in his car, though. Middle of nowhere. Doing a little quiz game show thing, is you know, chilling, just whatever on his phone, participating in that, and all of a sudden, like out of random nowhere, some uh, guy falls out of the sky onto his windshield, uh, parachuted out. He's like, "What the heck?" And then there's, uh, there's enough of that plane uh, crashes. He sees in this distance too before that, and there's a secret agent that is uh, starts walking toward him. He finds out he's a secret agent, a woman, and uh, she's all kind of messed up a little bit. She's like, "What's going on?" Who is this guy? What's, what's happening right up here? Like, you know the whereabouts of this guy. The guy's in his trunk of his car. Puts him in there. Like he kind of hides him in this tr the trunk actually, and he's not sure what to do with him. But then she asks what the whereabouts of what like, where, where, where's this guy? That, you know the guy that fell from the sky and stuff. And once that happens, all this weird stuff starts going on of like who done it, kind of thing. Keeping secrets. What's going on? Who can you trust? Kind of stuff. You're not sure what's going on with all of this connection up here. So it was an all right one. It was an okay kind of a uh, action flick. It wasn't a, not the greatest kind of thing, but it was, a, it was an all right watch. And that is Punto Rojo. Not too bad up here. Good little popcorn flip check out at nighttime. Available now from the NVD visual line. And that is it for the reviews up over here. We have a nice, a nice little stack of some goodness up here. Nice little variety of some good, cool flicks to check out for all your cinema needs. Send a stock in cinema needs up here. So if you want to get these at more links down below for all these awesome flicks. Now back to this show right up here. Oh yeah. And we are back as a matter of fact from the reviews and uh, that'll pretty much do it for this video. Quick little video, just a quick little one. I want to put something out there, you know, get some goodness up there. So if you do nice little reviews, I want to get those out there. So some cool suggestions for me to you to check out and order up on and pick up on and things like that. And also I was like hungry, so let's go to some awesome, get some bomb tacos. So if you're in San Diego, check out Tacos El Trampo. And what I found out too, uh, I, I posted that uh, a picture of uh, that on my Instagram. Uh, Tacos El Trampo uh, messaged me back and he said this month in March, there's pretty much two Taco Tuesdays for the month of March. So that's really cool. So you get Taco Tuesday, buck 50 tacos. And on Thursday, pretty much like Taco Thursday, buck 50 tacos also throughout the whole month. So that's very, very cool. So awesome. Eight chances to get buck 50 tacos. So that's what I'm talking about right up there this month. So throw it out there like that. So if you're in San Diego area, if you're coming to San Diego, check out Tacos El Trampo. There's four locations around town. So check them out. Really, really good tacos. Awesome other stuff they got in their menu too. Everything I have had there so far is so, so good. So it's just a fire good taco spot here in Dago. So anyway, hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, make sure to thumb up, leave a comment below. If you're on the channel, make sure to subscribe, of course, things like that. And I'll catch you guys later next time. I'll see you then. And bye.